start here on our fourth destination. Fourth demand. Fort Devo, located just outside of Verda, was a 19th century defensive structure, which was fiercely defended by French troops during the Battle of Verda in World War I. The fort is located in Vaux de Vandalou, in Meuse, France. It is a polygonal fort forming part of a ring of 19 large defensive works intended to protect the city of Verda. Built in 1881 to 1884 at the cost of 1,500,000 francs and built to house 150 men, Vaux had been modernized before 1914 with reinforced concrete top protection like Fort Dumont. At the end of 1915, this armament of the fort was carried out to send the guns and ammunition to the front line. The four 75mm guns were removed from the casemates, leaving only the two in the turret. Vaux came into the limelight when it became one of the main priorities of the German attack from the beginning of the Battle of Verda. It was the second fort to fall after Fort Dumont, which was captured by the Germans in February 1916 in the confusion of the French retreat. Though, on the other hand, was fully garrisoned when it was attacked on June 2nd by the German assault troops. From February 21st to the 26th, Vaux was bombarded with shells of all sizes. Field boxes and armored observatories were damaged, and the gallery leading to the 75mm turret was cut. In early March, the Germans launched a 100-day siege from the position a few hundred meters away from the fort. The superstructure of the fort was badly damaged, but the garrison, the deep interior corridors, and stations were intact when the fort was attacked later on June 2nd by the German storm troops. The defense of Bo was marked by the heroism and endurance of the garrison including Major Sylvain Eugene Reynal. He took command of the fort on May 14th with no artillery. Under his command, the besieged French garrison fended off repeated German assaults, including fighting underground from barricades inside the invaded corridors of the fort, which was the first major engagement to happen completely inside the fort during World War I. The French soldiers inside were subjected to the deluge of artillery shells, but they withstood the attack despite a lack of food and water. The soldiers refused to abandon Fort Vaux, staying until they had run out of all supplies and even carrier pigeons. Reynal was using these pigeons to carry messages to his commanding officers, requesting relief for his soldiers. On June 1st, the Germans reached the fort. For a week, cut off and without any outside help, the French garrison put up a heroic fight. Unfortunately, the Germans cannot be stopped due to the fort having no artillery. On June 2nd and 3rd, German troops led by Kurt Draco attacked the fort with flamethrowers and forced French troops outside to retreat into the fort. The Germans penetrate the fort through the coffers of the counter scarp. What was left of the French garrison finally gave up after it had run out of drinkable water, ammunition, medical supplies, and food. Reynal continued requesting relief until he reached his final carrier pigeon, known as Jeremy. During his last communications, Reynald penned the phrase, This is my last pigeon. After the capture of Fort Vaux on June 7th, the Crown Queen's Wilhelm presented Major Reynald with a French officer's sword as a sign of respect. From June 8th to November 1st, 1916, 
the fort was used by the Germans as a shelter and command post for the area. The French attempt to retake the fort several times with enormous loss of life. They bombard the fort to destroy it with heavy shells, including a super heavy 400mm rounds, but the concrete walls resisted. Life inside the structure became impossible, and the Germans eventually abandoned the fort at the end of October. On November 2nd, the fort was recaptured without resistance by a French patrol which finds it empty. After its recapture, Fort Vaux was truly repaired and fully reactivated. However, some original damage from the fight on June 2nd can still be seen today. Several underground galleries to reach the far outside, one of them being a mile long, were dug and equipped. Between 1916 to 1918, the casemates were rehabilitated before being rearmed. An observatory and an armored command bunker were also equipped with machine guns. The water reserves were quadrupled. Light was provided now by two electric generators. The underground installations of the fort are in a remarkably good state of preservation. As for Reynal and his soldiers, they remained in captivity in Germany until the armistice of November 11, 1918. Today, Fort Vaux is a listed historic monument. It bears witness to the bitter fighting that opposed the French and German during the Battle of Verdun. Still watching over the Verdun region, it shows the technical techniques of the late 19th century with its massive and carefully designed construction. It also symbolizes the intensity of new forms of warfare at the beginning of the 20th century as super heavy artillery that was introduced. Fort Vaux is an important key to understanding the Battle of Verda. So now, anyone can visit Fort de Vaux. It is currently open to the public for guided visits. So let's look around.
Lord, uh, wet, damp, cold. Like I said before, it's like a beast. This trip requires a lot of walking, hiking, climbing the stairs, so you have to be like semi fit to, to do all this. So, yeah, you need to be hydrated too. So that's it for the walkthrough and the history of Fort Devo. Until next time, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And feel free to comment. Hit the bit! Hit the bit! Hit the bit!